Hi, this is Raymond. Uh, this video will cover uh, the technical drawing for engineering drawing and the measuring devices that we found in our uh, most engineering workshop. So first is the technical drawing. So basically technical drawings is uh, used or made uh, to, to give the uh, dimensions or the constructions of a component so it's usually from a bigger uh, component uh, being drawn into precise and uh, some are in exploded views to see the whole uh, part of a component so for example I have here my example of my technical drawing or engineering drawing so I have here uh, the exploded view of our engine so, for example this one this one is made to see the whole uh, uh, big components of our engine so for example I have here number one the rock, the rocker cover or the uh, rocker arm cover the camshaft the timing gear front cover oil pump piston connecting rod and so on so here as you can see you can see the number number one number two number three so uh, each number has a correspondent uh, part names or part uh, component name so usually this one has another uh, another technical drawing for for example in this uh, rocker arm or in this uh, assembly or rocker arm assembly so there's another technical drawing exploded view for the parts uh, identification so this technical drawing is very useful so we can go into uh, so we can view the whole uh, dimensions of the uh, engine we don't have to open the engine just to see the parts and the components we have this uh, technical drawing provided so we can uh, identify easily or we can uh, understand what is inside or what is the components uh, assemblies so this is how our technical drawing has so usually this one is printed during for example this engine so the, always uh, always uh, be specific with the kind of engine so usually the manufacturers uh, provided the um, this drawing or specifications for this so by the use of our information uh, machine information so we can acquire this one through our computer so for example when we are going to uh, order the parts so we can use this one for example i will order the camshaft camshaft number two so this one this one is our camshaft, our timing cover, timing assemblies here, crankshaft, piston, flywheel, lock, cylinder head, What's that? valve mechanism, this one here. So for the, for example, this valve mechanism, uh, this one will have another technical drawing. So for example, the rocker arm, uh, the valve spring, the valve seal, the valve guide, the valve. So another technical drawing uh, can be uh, acquired. So this one is available. For applying uh, quality system, always refer to manufacturer's uh, specifications and uh, operation and manuals and all the references. So for example, I have here on how I will conduct 
technical analysis for a forklift, so specifically made for forklift, forklift, uh, forklift, forklift, this one, forklift, model T, uh, T1, a serial number, this one is DP15 NT, so I have here the guides or the all of the components that should be inspect or conduct uh, analysis so from so from general information uh, inspection of engine so from air filter fuel system up to cooling system lubrication seals and gaskets water cap and then another uh, component which is the transmission inspection uh, we have the transmission fluid and so on and so forth so this one is uh, specifically only for forklift uh, on that on this model so this one i have here also an example of another technical drawing so this one is a technical drawing for our workshop so I have here uh, the entrance. This one is the set of lifters, numbers, uh, the offices. So this one is used uh, in the construction of this um, workshop. So that's for our uh, technical drawings. And also for our measuring devices found in our workshops, there are plenty of uh, measuring device used to measure almost uh, uh, all kinds of parameters or uh, specific uh, pressures, temperatures, uh, electric, uh, voltage. Like, so for example, I have here my pressure gauge. So pressure gauge is used for measuring pressures so before using our pressure gauge so before using pressure gauges uh, always we always uh, refer we always refer to the uh, specifications of the component that we are going to measure so for, for the purpose is that gauges are have limitations or we can damage the gauges if we use this one uh, improperly so for example if we're going to measure higher high pressure high pressure uh, lines or components so this one is only up to um, 100 psi so, we so basically of, of, we can use this one to a higher uh, pressure so the first thing we're going to do uh, make sure that we have our PPE we have our information of the components that we are going to pressure and the measuring tools that we are going to use so in that way we're going to uh, we can work uh, effectively in our job safely and effectively so there are various of gauges uh, found in our workshop I have here also uh, up to 400 PSI this one is PSI so up to 400 PSI so other gauges used in hydraulic systems uh, can reach up to uh, 5000 to 10,000 PSI and many more so we just uh, make sure when uh, using that we are going to use the proper tools and measuring device. So for the maintenance before and after use, uh, we're going to clean first. We're going to clean and then store in our uh, in the proper storage. So for example, this uh, uh, box or case. So I have here the transmission or engine oil pressure kit. So transmission and engine oil pressure kit. So you just not uh, 
that high pressure so that's why we have a gauge only range to 0 to 100 psi and up to 400 psi so in other components like hydraulic uh, system or in high pressures like TV equipment machines so we're going to use higher uh, pressure gauges uh, I have here also So I have here also a kit So this one is used for the for temperature and also for our overheating machines or engines So this one is used for leak test so I have here the gauge for the temperature So this one is for temperature so the common uh, use um, unit of measure for temperature is Celsius and Fahrenheit. So this one here is the Celsius, the bottom, 0, 20 degree Celsius, 40 degree Celsius, 60 degree to 120. And the red one is for um, Fahrenheit. So we are, we're just going to dip this one. This uh, area here we're going to dip to uh, the water or the area we're going to measure so we can uh, get our temperature ready so for this one also is the usage for our uh, leak test or water leak test so after going to conduct visual inspection in our um, cooling system so Next thing we're going to do also is we're going to check for leak. So we just simply apply pressure in our cooling system uh, here. So make sure that before we, we're going to make sure that before we're going to conduct this um, um, test. Uh, we make sure that our uh, safety PPEs uh, we're going to um, service hot components since this one is for our cooling system. So make sure to follow the proper procedure and the steps in uh, troubleshooting or in conducting this uh, test. So do not open the radiator cap when it's hot of course. Uh, check for pressure it can uh, cause burn or damage or uh, injury and also for our uh, our device our measuring tools or kit uh, clean and proper usage is the key uh, to prolong the life of our uh, so we are here are the uh, attachments, uh, adapters. So we're just going to put this one here and then apply pressure in our cooling system so we can see the leak of our water. Uh, also here. Also, it, uh, it has a gauge. So this red one uh, indicates that we have applied already high, uh, high pressure. So there are various of, uh, measuring tools or devices we can found in the workshop. Uh, also in our electrical system, uh, we can found also uh, devices to measure voltage, uh, current, uh, resistance, continuity. So for example, I have here a simple tester, a simple tester, so this one, so I can test for, so this one is the opposition, I have here the voltage for DC. This one is for the alternating current or AC. This one is for our resistance and this one is for our continuity. 
So by using by this, we can measure uh, precisely the amount of uh, measure of the electronic device. So for example, I will going to use voltage. So I'll just simply put this one here in voltage position. So prior to use, make sure that we know of the component that we're going to measure and our uh, measuring device or tester that we're going to use. So always also check for the specifications and the uh, operation manuals. So I have here the voltage. So I can test this one here. So for example, I have the battery. So we are going to make sure that the safety uh, measures and the hazard that it can uh, create and the safety and the PPEs that we are going to use. So we have here our negative uh, pin or jack and we have our positive. So that means that we are going to put also in positive and in negative. I always refer to the uh, instructions. For example, I have the positive, I have the negative. So I'm going to read. So as you can see, it's uh, 10 or very low. It's very low. So we can, we can also use this uh, indicator here. We can also use this indicator. Uh, it's ready in back. So this one is for manual or visual inspection. This indicator here. So that's for our voltage. Also, I can try. I already used the voltage. I can try the, uh, for example, uh, the continuity. So for continuity, basically, if we're going to put this one together, so there's a sound coming. So that's for our continuity. For example, I have here a relay, so I will try to measure if there is a continuity with all of this uh, uh, spin or... So for example, this one, I'll just simply put this one here. So basically, if this one is shorted or there's a connect connected, so it will it will make a sound. So I will check for, for other, so since there is no sound, so that means this one also for this and so on so this that means that there is no uh, connect there is no connection also for this for example I have here a socket I have here a sensor uh, a electronic uh, sensor so I have here the connector so for example I will check for continuity so I'll just put this one here and check where the if you want to locate the uh, the connection of this so we just simply uh, check where we're going to sound so this one here at the upper side so this one So for our uh, measuring device, so make sure that we're going to use it properly, uh, turn off after use, clean, uh, secure our uh, these wires, our pins, so also for our electronic device. So there are plenty of uh, measuring tools you can find actually most engineering workshops so we have to make sure that we're going to use the proper measuring tools in a proper job in a correct uh, task or in a uh, proper application so thank you